Guys, I want to talk to you about one of the other things that I've learned from a bunch of students that I've taught in duck and goose calling is they don't know how to get a low, a medium range goose and a high range goose. So I'm going to explain it to you today. You're going to hit yourself because it's so easy. So unless you are completely tone deaf or you have some sort of severe speech impediment, you can for sure do this because I have had students that have both of those things at the same time. However, they were still able to get this even though they had those impediments. So to get a low goose out of the, your goose call, all you do is you blow slow, hot air. So you're not blowing as hard as you can. It's just about this much. Here's what it sounds like in the back of the call. So in the front of the call. So if you can tell, I'm not exerting a crazy amount of energy when I'm doing that low goose. And so that's how you do your lower goose. To do the medium range, which is like everyone's normal goose calling note, it's that amount of effort where you're just putting a little bit more air and you're snapping your tongue. Just a maybe a little bit harder, maybe a little bit less. Try it for yourself. But here's my medium range goose. <laughs> So as you can tell, again, I'm still not working crazy hard, but I am thinking more about my tongue and where in my mouth I'm putting it. So when I have my tongue at the base of my teeth like this, and I bring my tongue up to hit the roof of my mouth to cut off the cluck, what I'm doing is I'm putting it a little bit more further in my mouth. So just behind the top row of teeth that I have in my mouth, I'm going to put my tongue resting against that, right where the gum line meets the bottom row of my teeth. It just makes it easier when you're doing higher notes to put your tongue there for some reason. So now moving on to the high note, this is going to take a lot more air and you're going to have to snap your tongue a lot faster. The problem that new guys have with this is that they don't know the timing of when they blow their air to when they snap their tongue. And that's something that you have to find out for yourself. You just practice, practice, practice. So as I'm blowing faster, <laughs> notice how my face turns red and my cheeks want to puff out because I'm pushing so much air. But at the same time, again, the roof of my mouth or where my teeth meet my gum line, my tongue is snapping into that and it has to go a lot faster. So as I'm blowing the low air, that's how fast my tongue is coming up. Now in the medium range, now in the high range, and as you can tell, when my tongue snaps up, it's a lot quicker as I go higher. Slower on the low end, higher on the high end. Hopefully that guy makes sense for you guys. And what also what I wanted to touch on is make sure that you are practicing your low goose five times and it all sounds exactly the same. I'm gonna say this on every single call video, do not move on until you feel like you have mastered low, medium, high. Obviously there's more geese in between that, but it's so important for you to do five low ones before you move on to five medium ones. Five medium ones before five high. It sounds really annoying, but trust me, it made me such a better goose caller when people told me to do that, and I tell everybody that now. Let me just do 15 calls for you real quick. And one thing I forgot to say is take a breath in between each one so you can go faster and faster now you hear how every single one of those sounded exactly the same so now i'm confident when i go out in the field i can sound like more than one goose at a time and that's how guys are able to sound like so many different geese at one time because they mastered those pitch levels, it, they don't even have to think about it anymore. They just think high goose, low goose, and they do a high goose and then a low goose, and there's no thought process about it. So once you practice this and you get your lows, mediums, and highs, I guarantee you, you'll be able to do something like that this next season. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our channels, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, our podcast. That's a huge one. We're doing a huge giveaway at a thousand reviews. So be stay tuned for that and let us know what else you'd like to hear. Thanks for watching.